All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from the first chapter of the Bjorn Johnson textbook, question 9. And we have three forces, each of magnitude of P, which is 4 kilonewtons, which are applying at this structure. That we can see we need to determine the cross-sectional area of uniform portion of rod EE, for which the normal stress in that portion is 100 megapascal. So at the end of this, as long as we have the force FBE, what the question is asking is the area of the BE and the average normal stress we know is 100 megapascal. So if we figure out the FBE, we're good to go and we have to go through different members of this structure in order to find the answer. And what we're going to solve this is, is that we're going to start with the free body diagram of member DC, which sounds the easiest member in here. And what we have is, so we have the point point D and C in here, if we look at this, we'll see that we have a roller at point D, which means we only have a normal force. We're going to show it with the D. We have the force P that is applying in here, which is 1.1 meter from point C. And since we know the length of the C is 2.25, we have 0.15 in here. And if we add this to 0 0.15 plus 0 0.1 is going to give us 0 0.25 that we have. So if we we'll look at this, we'll see that the force P in the middle is not applying at the member CD. It's applying at the member ABC. So we don't consider anything in here. And we have a pin at point C, which we consider both CX and CY in here since we have a pin. So we are in equilibrium. We're going to start with our equilibrium equation. Sum of all forces in X is equal to 0. And the reason I'm doing this is that we only have CX in X direction, meaning our CX is zero. If we do in here a moment about point D, our unknown at point D will be canceled out and we can find CY. So basically we have the moment of CY, uh, which is a clockwise moment. So negative times the distance from C to D, which is 0.25. And we have the moment of P, which is counterclockwise so this will be equal to zero so here basically our cy would be 0.15 over 0.25 p which will be 0.6 p so now that we have the cy we can move on to the other member the member abc so we're gonna draw the free body diagram of member abc so we basically have this member here so we have the force P in here applying at these two points. We have FBE and we have two forces at A. We can call it AX and AY since we have a pin at point A. And since we figured that the CY is upward in the other one, in here our CY will be downward uh, based on the Newton's law, the force that is applying from member DC to ABC will be in the opposite direction. So this one was upward and it will be downward here. So all we need to do in here, the only unknown that we have in this uh, question, we also found CY based on P and we already know that P is four kilonewton. So if we do the moment about point A, we can cancel out, we can get rid of all the unknowns at point A and we can easily find the BY. But let's figure out the distances. So here we have point 15, we have point 0.2 in here and this distance would be 0.1. All the distances are um, in the figure so we know this is 0.15. We have this distance here 0.3 minus so this will be 0.1 and the hole is 0.3 which means this is 0.2. So this is the pointer that I showed in here. So the rest of it is pretty easy. We have the moment of FBE, which as we can see about point A is counterclockwise. So FBE times 0.15 minus P times 0.2 plus 0.50. So 0.35 minus P times 0.35 plus 1. So 0.45 minus CY again 0.45 and our CY uh, we know is 0.6p so uh, basically 15 fpe is equal to we can factor it p 0.35 plus 0.45 plus 0.45 times 0.6 and we know our P is 4 kilonewtons and if we calculate our FBE in here we're going to get 28.53 kilonewtons and from here we can find the average normal stress in BE 
which from the question we know is 100 megapascal and that's going to be 28.53 to the 10 over the area so our area in here in order to get it in meters squared will be 28.53 times Newton over 100 times 10 to the 6 Pascal and what we're going to get in here will be 285.3 times 10 to the minus 6 meter cube and if we want to write it down in millimeter we have 281.3 millimeter cube which would be the final answer for this question so yeah that's pretty much everything for this one hope you guys find it helpful let me know if anything is unclear feel free to drop it in the comment section i'd be happy to answer those please make sure to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and uh, i'm going to share the link for the 2d shortcut that we have that we used over and over in this question uh down in the description below feel free to check it out if you need to refresh your mind about the engineering mechanics statics and we have another channel that we are specifically solving the static questions so feel free to check that one out and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one